what's up guys and welcome to another episode of of course pocket topics it's been some time since i actually recorded one of these and i have a few subjects in mind and i'm finally able to sit down and talk about the most unique mon in the entire meta and that is well as you guys see rotom rotom has been even from generation 4 or since generation 4 a really really nice contribute and actually represented a very very high tier mon at that point i think it was yuyu and uh, it's hard or other form was basically ou and not divided and yeah it like i said it contributes a lot of things to the meta from generation 4 and this was the first time since amon actually was able to change its entire typing um which was unseen till generation 6 with the mega pokemons at least a few of them but until then ronan was the only mon pulling this off and uh, it has a lot of things going for it. being a lot of flexible is a great companion in of course in your playthrough of course any pokemon game but also it's just overall is a very nice mon to work with because of the flexibility of its stats it's very well distinguished and um, yeah just overall it's a really really cool mon so yeah without further ado we're gonna talk about each and every one of them in this individual tier so first mon off is of course the regular form and for good reasons um, it is also called Rotom Speed or Rotom Ghost, depending on how you want to call it, but it's the regular form of Rotom. And obviously, this particular form of Rotom is a. Uh, um, what do you call it? Contribute? And no, just a tribute to one of Game Freak's earlier game called Pulse Man. Now, Rotom, as its regular form, is known to be an uh, Engimon as of now. And uh, just overall, its typing is what is so good about it. That's a good speed here being 91, which means our speed, of course, mon actually, of course, 90. It has its will o wisp as every ghost mon has, Shadow Ball and Electric type stab, Volt Switch Thunderbolt, makes it good to pivot. So it is actually a really niche mon and it's very, very nice considering what the way it's done. And of course, it actually has some fair defenses being, of course, it's 77. And its HP is really bad of the of course 50 but then again it's a ghost mon so it's expected to be somewhat fragile and of course with electric typing it's even more expected to be really fragile but what the rune does well is of course the way it can actually paralyze mons it could will wisp it could pivot like i said with volt switch and um, it actually in generation 6 as the league actually sets up has find a very good niche it's unique typing together with, of course, League plays. He made his spawn really, really dangerous, and I see this thing more and more often. And uh, while it's not the best Ghost type or Electric type, it does fill a spot on every team. Due to its unique typing, means it can be used in some fashion. And of course, to get it with Trick and any Specs or Scarf Bandit, I was gonna say Choice Item, sorry. Uh, it does work really nice. So Rotom is one of my favorites of the Rotom family. Its regular form is really good and um, yeah, just overall, it's still to this day contributes a whole lot to the meta game, and of course the leagues where it stands out right now. Next one is actually the only one who resides in PU, and that is Rotom Freeze. And I think it's actually kind of funny that the then of course change form is actually a lesser bean. Now the thing is here, once Rotom change form, it gets a whole lot bulk. It gets an access to more special attack. I do believe it boosted a 10 in special attack and it gets, I believe, 30 extra in its defenses. Uh, some extra attack, I guess, and loses five in speed. So it's slower, uh, still 86 base, which is respectable and just actually outspeed a few things. But the thing that makes Rotom Frost or Freeze so funny is for the longest time, or even actually till today, Bolt Beaming, you know, the combination of Thunderbolt and Ice Beam are to be considered the best kind of uh, coverage moves, much like Stone Edge and Earthquake, I do what they call it Edgequake. Uh, the combination fits a lot of things, so it was probably one you know, at least for me in Generation 3, it was a pretty much a wet dream for me of having a mom with those stabs. Oh boy, oh boy, were I wrong. Those stabs together, while nice, 
are actually a pirate of hell if you can if you really think about the issues that in Warning. And of course, it isn't really helping that Rodan Freeze actually get access to Blizzard and no other eye step. Blizzard is probably the worst kind of move you want to have, much like Hurricane. It is a shot in the dark. Um, it is a powerful move that can miss. Most like Focus Blast, it's something you don't want to rely on, you don't want to be put in that situation. And your next change of moves is actually a film of Hidden Power Ice. Which would be fair, but man, do they screw this guy up. I mean, with the introduction of Freeze Try, one could only hope that Rodan got that chance. It would have helped it a whole lot. Uh, because, let's face it, with Levitate, at least it does deal with a lot of things are slightly better, but the ice issues are so vast, you know, the stealth rocks, the fire hits, the fighting hits, you know, every jet, iron hits, is probably the only thing that actually benefits of being an electric type due to it and neutrally, but it just doesn't help. A uh, Rotom does fall fast in this form, and uh, sadly I believe it is very much due to the lacklustering stab it got with Blizzard, uh, had it had Ice Beam or anything like that, this stamina wise would have been slightly better. But as it stands now, it just is so risky of using properly. But we do have seen some good sets on it, and it did work well in Generation 4 with, of course, Choice Scarf. And I think that's the most relevant one still Choice Scarf, Volt Squish, Blizzard, Thunderbolt, and Trick. Or, you know, it could go for potentially Will O Wisp to avoid off the fighting. We know every fighting move, or not every physical attacker that could actually hurt you a whole lot. Um, that's pretty much all I can say about Rodan Frost. I do like it. I think it's a very nice design. And like I said, we'd all dreamed about this kind of typing combination. So I'm feeling a bit saddened that while it looks cool and the idea is great, it just doesn't work. I, I really believe that it should have been a slightly better. And I think the only way to solve it would have been to actually have a better ice move on it and Blizzard. And the next one up is Rodan Fan. And yeah. You know what? This is one of the mods that people tend to joke about a little bit because, you know, if you think about it, it's a flying type, let's levitate, what the fuck? <laughs> but, you know, in all the end, you know, it, I guess, you know, we could give it some kind of recognition that if a mod having a mold breaker, then it won't help. But that's pretty much it. And the thing is here, Rodan Fan is actually one of the few electric flying types that does have actions to a flying stab. Um, say for example, Thunderous, one of the meanest mons in OU, it doesn't have a flying step, so Rotofan does have it, but what of course is dividing these two are actually amount of HP, special attack, and of course speed these guys grant. I do believe Rotofan is a very very good mon in general, it definitely is good in uh, NU, even in RU to some extent. But uh, yeah, it falls somewhere in between. Um, the typing is great. Um, being an electric type and being flying means that it can actually fit a team really nicely because it can hold its own really well. And this kind of typing works well with a potential steel type. Of course, because Rotom being weak to or flying type makes this guy, of course, weak to ice and rock. What could be plenty helpful is a steel type that, of course, could pivot those hits away and of course um, the steel thing was switch into this one to avoid potential earthquake so it's a good typing fits a lot of team works well in leagues actually due to that very reason alone and of course like every other form has access to will wisp has access to thunder wave it's a great mount to work and has a lot of things that could pretty much keep it alive now I've seen a whole lot of absolute upsets and I think the most recent one that I think was most powerful is the one with Hidden Power Grass. Mostly in end youth to deal with, of course, water... Sorry, the water ground types, which are... Well... Pretty darn annoying to deal with Quacks are, of course, foremost. And in Leaks, like I said, it fits a role. Um, usually these two kind of typing uh, has some issues behind it, and Electric Flying solves the, the worst of the this, these two and that of course being weak to earthquakes and flying type with a flying stab make sure you can deal with a lot of big hitters and fire types in this leagues or in league format so Ronan fan 
actually are a bit of forgotten mod. It de definitely does better than most people do. Now, obviously, it's not the strongest of the rodent family, but as a fun or electric flying type, it is not that bad. Coming up next is the gem of RU, and definitely my favorite form of Rodum, Rodum Moor. And yeah, I mean, how to really explain this guy to the way of extent it could be working with? The defenses that Rodum Extended Form has make this form so good. Electric and Grass type? Yes, please. There are so many things that works well with this form. Grass typing usually, when they are bulky, they're usually dual typing. A uh, very few exceptions, be of course one of Tangela and Tangrove. But outside of that, usually they're bulky, a bit slower. Rodemo, while having a dual typing, it's not having a bad dual typing. Because of, let's face it, it is due to its grass type, it should be weak to grass, right? Or flying, sorry. But it's not due to electric, it actually hits neutrally and can hit super effectively back. So, yeah, it just covers a whole lot. Like I said, Rotom Mo is one of my favorite form, if not the favorite form of Rotom. And it is because of the dual typing, and it has actually to leave Storm a very, very powerful uh, grass type or grass stab. So, it becomes really, really, really nasty. Now, in RU, it has issues, which every mount does have to some extent, and I think that's why it's not in UU, but it does probably a slightly better in UU due to the mount's residing there and of course let's actually bring up the leaks too i do believe rodent Maw is the best rodent for leaks it due to typing coverage it fits a lot of roles for a lot of teams and it has a lot of defenses like i stated and the speed actually is more than plenty to actually screw teams over so rodent Maw, i can't really stress enough how good it is um i could keep talking about the situation rodent Maw is facing but all I can say is, as a grass type, it actually is really nice, especially defensively, and access to will o wisp shuts down, of course, every physical attacker, which means that you only need to focus about the special defense if you want to use this as a defensive typing. And this is probably one of the few mods that actually can force switch a lot of Pokémon out. Uh, Beyond Core resists to, uh, let's face it, let's see, what is it? It's water, which is really, really, really common, of course. And, um, hmm, I'm sorry. And of course, electric and grass moves. Very, very common stab hits. And are, of course, bulky water monsters are having issues with this. Though Ice Beam, you know, will hurt it from the ice, ice type, but the retaliation of Leaf Storm will just hurt that much more. So one has to be considered, you know, is it worth it or not? Like I said, Rotom is one hell of a beast. And next one up is Rotom Heat. And yeah, I mean, what can I say about this mon? I really, 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 much like Rotom Maw, think that this Rotom is a very, very good form. It has actually the stab of Overheat. Overheat. It does damage. Um, it is probably the least... Or actually, no, Rotom Frost do take that, but it's probably the second worst typing combination. But it is a unique stab. It definitely is. And of course... Um, having access to Levitate makes sure that Earthquake does not 4x you, even though Mold Breaker kind of force you out. And this is definitely the premier mon against the likes of Mamoswine in UU. It does really well against it. And of course, with Will O Wisp, it shuts down the things it needs to shut down. Now, it has a bit too much weaknesses for my taste. Being, of course, weak to water, yeah, that's awful. But could retaliate with Electric, yeah, good riddance. You know, that works. <laughs> <laughs> but then we have, of course, the rock types that does kind of deal with this properly. Um, usually forces this mod to have the power of grass to be able to void it up properly. But yeah, outside of that, I think the fire typing is nice. It does kind of fern out fairies too. And uh, really, there is just not too much you can say about it without really, really getting into that. It is the stabs that make this guy good. And Maya doesn't make him really good. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I mean, I won't really go much into it. Um, I think you cannot judge it on your own. Um, Electric Fire, like I said, it is a good typing if Mold Breaker is not present. If Mold Breaker is present, then goddamn, get out of there. That's about it. But yeah, Rotomate, probably one of my favorite ones, much like Rotomate. I think it has very much power behind it and has the resistances to actually force 
Monza, which is in the end what the Rodum's uniqueness is all about. And the last one of the Rodum family is probably the one that is most spoiled and most beloved of everyone, Rodum Wash. And I'll just go at it, I say this one is extremely overrated. Uh, now, with that said, it has a good, def good defensive typing, it actually has. Um, it's only have one weakness, being grass, yes, that's great, you know, only have one weaknesses, I get that, that's really cool, that's plenty of resistances. And there's where it all boils down to, it's stab access, it's of course Hydro Pump, which is probably the best move out of everybody, honestly, because much like, if you should compare, for example, Overheat and uh, Hydro Pump, of course, Fire Blast would be the next closest thing that probably Rotom Heat should have gotten. But you know, as it stands, um, Rotom Heat, or no, Rotom Wash, is one of those mods that, while I don't like it, I see why it actually is good. I mean, it forces a lot of switches, which is what it's all about. Being an electric type that could volt switch upon things, yes, it makes sense. Um, it does force, like I said, a lot of switches. It has like its will o wisp. It is extremely bulky. It works well with rest. It works well with leftovers. And it really doesn't need to worry about too much. And usually, grass stabs are, or grass as a move filler, are present. But as a stab, quite uncommon actually in OU. And in league format, is probably where Rodent Wash does. The worst job, um, not out of the, not all of the worst, but I think Rotom More and Rotom Heat does a lot better than Rotom Wash, mostly because they have access to be more flexible. But in OU, Rotom Wash works extremely well, mostly due to actually deal with landers really, really nicely, and it can deal with a lot of mods quite well. It can deal with Asmeril, it can deal with Talonflame, so. We do get why it is so good. Um, the lack of recovery does put it a bit bad, but at the same time, that it's so good that it doesn't have that because it will just have no end of that. Um, outside of that, I guess it is kind of um, bad against potentially setup mods, of course, and you know, mods that could do more than 50% to it, but they are not too many, so that's why Rotom Wash is as good as it is. And like I said, not hitting this thing super effectively usually tend to mean that it's very, very hard to kill. It can easily get control of the situation. And um, man, oh man, do I hate facing this when I actually started playing uh, X and Y back in, well, two years back, basically. It still is, like I said, I still think this mod is overrated. But that's more to do with that when I see it, it only fits one role and it does that really well. While the other two I mentioned before are a lot more flexible than Rotom Wash is. But as it stands, you know, in OU, it's actually it's one of the primary pivots in the whole tier, really. But yeah, you know, there we go. There, that's pretty much the size of it. Um, I talked about, you know, how great the regular Rotom was, and, you know, about the other forms and how to do in league format. And I'll actually want to come back to that, you know. I've shared my thoughts now, and I do believe if I had to pick a mod that I think are the best between these, then I would probably say Rotom more. And like I said, it's mostly due to what it can do in the other tiers and leagues. It is not only flexible, but it actually is a good type, and it fills a lot of slots. Rotom Heat is a close second for the very reason alone. Uh, Rotom Wash definitely afterwards, definitely the better mod overall in uh, the small and tiers. I uh, won't really deny that fact. After that, Rotom Fan, regular Rotom. Actually, no, I take regular Rotom before Rotom Fan. Better stab uh, than Rotom Fan, and of course Rotom Frost or Freeze or whatever uh, gets last. Um, like I stated though, I will say that Rotom Frost is uh, would have done a lot better with Freeze Try. I won't say that would have solved the issue that it is this month, but it would help. Uh, as of course for Rotom Fan, it is good. It, there is nothing wrong with that mon. It is a bit too slow, I guess, for those stabs, but nothing really too bad with it. Uh, regular Rotom, it suits 
a few rolls really, really, really nicely, and it works really well in every tier, but obviously, league format is where it's at. And Rune Wash in league format is a bit lacking um, due to it being so good in one roll uh, and pretty much kind of bad in the others. Rune Heat, a bit more flexible, uh, suits a lot more teams, um, that's about it. And Rune Maul wins, of course, with actually fitting roles in teams really, really, really well. Um, as a grass mon, it is really nice to see a mon like that, being able to force out what probably would be the quickest and easiest response to it, being of course flying types. I really, really like that design. Though I will say that Rotom Heat gets a plus for me for actually dealing with water types, which actually would be a pretty nasty response, of course, to your, your average fire mon. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the, the size of it. I really want to see what you guys think about Rotom. I mean, is Rotom the most uh, unique mon in the meta, or has things changed? I mean, the, the, the change of typing really, really is, to some extent, a unique for any Pokemon, honestly. And I really like to reintroduce that with the Mega Pokemon in X and Y. But yeah, I think Rotom was pretty much what I would say the grandfather of that kind of idea and design and I think it worked out really nicely so shout out to of course Game Freak for making us use this mod and what are your thoughts about Rodan? which are your favorite form and was I too harsh on Rodan Wash? <laughs> but yeah guys I really really appreciate you watching this it actually turned out to be a really lengthy episode and uh, yeah you know sometimes we gotta have these too so uh, welcome back to the pocket topics and I hope you guys enjoy this episode next episode will be about we're talking about if league and tiers are the same thing, or can a league player be a pretty worse Mogan player and stuff like that. So yeah, stay tuned for that, it's going up next Monday. So thank you everyone for watching, and i see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.